What's happening, people? What's happening? Derek Jackson here again, man. We live. Uh, if it's your first time tuning in to one of my live videos, first off, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Hope you stay a while. Uh, for the rest of you, welcome back. You know, has something on my mind. I haven't been able to talk about it because, you know, everything with my voice, you know, you know sick and all that shit. But um, I still want to talk about it. Hurt Bay. A lot of y'all been seeing the hashtag Hurt Bay. You know, it's basically about this little, I, I really can't really say what it was. I'm some kind of special or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Y'all might be more familiar with it than I was. But basically, it was a, a man and a woman, a young man and a woman. Um, and he did a wrong. And they kind of had this sit down to talk about what was going through his mind whenever he did a wrong. Right? So in it came a whole lot of memorable moments and snippets and all of that. One of them was whenever he asked her, like, you know, why did you forgive me? Why did you uh, come back or some shit like that? And she was like, because you were my best friend. Real heartbreaking, man. You know, but real relatable at the same time. But, <clears throat> you know, I have less of a problem with that, with the actual uh, uh, segment or whatever, than I do the conversation that was surrounding it. You know, what I saw was a lot of people talking about, she's so stupid. She's so dumb. She's so weak. How you going to just, you know, walk out? He tell you to leave. I would have did this. I would have did that. First off, it's funny because it's a whole lot of former Hurt Bays talking shit about Hurt Bay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us done been in that situation and we can all have this perfect uh, 2020 hindsight now. But let's not look down on her and, and, and call the, the pot black if we steal the kettle. You feel what I'm saying? Because no matter how smart you are, love can make you a fool. Love makes fools out of even the most intelligent people. That's why you got to use your mind in the beginning to assess whether or not a person is healthy for you. And then you go forward in your emotions. And a lot of times we still misread somebody because they'll show us one person up front and then they'll turn into a completely different person on the back end. That's just the, that's just the risk that you take. You know what I mean? Whenever you're dating somebody, whenever you're getting ready to fall for somebody, you know, but love is giving somebody the ability and the opportunity to hurt you, but trusting them that they won't. In this instance, he did. All right, but also another thing was not just on y'all ladies, you know, talking shit about Hurt Bay, but also the men. Man, there's so much fucking hypocrisy surrounding the, the conversation. You know, I saw one meme, man, and I know it's probably in, in fun and jokes or whatever, but I saw one meme. It had the girl's picture, probably not her best picture or whatever, and it was talking about, yeah, I would have cheated too. You know, and I saw some comments talking about, well, maybe he did it because, well, she probably wasn't doing this and that. Maybe if she had, maybe if she had such a, like, no, it ain't got shit to do with her. It ain't got shit to do with her. And this ain't me talking on some from some high horse or something like that. A spade is a spade, man. Truth is, he ain't shit. That's that's the common denominator. That's that's the only thing we really need to be focused on in this kind of situation. He ain't shit. Ladies, y'all need to give him a new name. Uh, fuck, fuck Hurt Bay, you know. She getting a whole lot of love, I guess, a whole lot of attention. But, you know, we, we need hashtag piece of shit Bay or ain't shit Bay or, you know, dickhead Bay or something like that. Y'all need to give him a name. Because that's what we need to be focused on, you know. And a lot of guys may say, well, shit, you know, ain't nobody perfect. I get that. But guess what? Okay, I ain't even from the streets. But I grew up close enough to the streets where I understand the streets. And a lot of guys claim to. So for a second, let's have a real talk moment. In the streets, if you cool with a dude, right? You cool with a dude, y'all do y'all what y'all do to get by. And he snitch on you. What do they consider that guy? They consider him a rat. They consider him, a, a, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a snitch. Deserving of death, deserving of no respect, you know, no integrity whatsoever. But when we get with a girl and she's our fucking best friend, she ain't doing crime with us. She's trying to do life with us, man. She's trying to love us. We betray her and we sit there and start making excuses. It kind of reminds me of, of, of one time a woman hit me up and she said her husband was cheating on her. And the reason that he gave was that because she gave her son love, he had no choice but to cheat. We do a whole lot of deferring and deflecting of blame that we're due and put it on the woman whenever we ain't shit, when we don't hold up our word. And that shit got to stop, man. It's, a, it's, it's hypocrisy at its worst, man. Like, we claim to be these logical beings and shit like that, and, you know, when some shit pop off with a, with a police officer and an unarmed black kid or unarmed black man, you know, we get mad at people for sitting there trying to find ways that the victim was wrong instead of the person who caused the whole situation who was actually the wrongdoer. But then when we getting some shit where we doing a woman wrong, a woman that's actually holding us down, that's loyal to us, they ain't, she ain't doing crime, she ain't fucking up our life. She trying to build us up, but we betray her. 
and we start finding excuses. We start finding jokes about it. We start finding all these reasons why she should have did something different to stop it from going on past the initial stage. When the common denominator is that we shouldn't have did it out the gate. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know, the shit kind of frustrated me, man, to see the, the conversation around it, the hypocrisy of guys around it, the way we deflect blame, the way we defer blame, and we call women the confused ones, the ones who aren't logical. Stop that shit, man.